Today we're making simple traditional marinara sauce. This sauce is made of only six ingredients and all it takes is a little bit of time. Ingredients are onion, garlic, and a handful of basil. Cut the onion fairly small because the onion isn't only there for the flavor, it also helps binding the sauce. Garlic becomes more intense the smaller you cut it and the longer you let it sit in the air because the typical garlicky flavor comes from an oxidation process. So the smaller you cut it, the more oxidation there is, and the longer you let it sit, the more oxidation there is. So that's what gives you more and more garlicky flavor. Okay, that will do the trick. That's all for the prep work. Aside from that, we need passata or tomato puree. Start with medium-high heat, add a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil and add your onions, your garlic and your basil if you want to do it like me. Otherwise keep the basil out of it and just add it at the end. Add a little salt. Salt makes the sweating process a lot easier. It extracts water from the onions. You do not want to brown this, you just want to sweat this, so it needs to stay moist. This is as much sweating as I want this to do. And now just add your tomato paste. Caution, this could splatter, so add a lot quick and maybe have a lid ready or be ready to stir. At this point, I'm reducing the heat to medium heat so that it doesn't start to splatter. All we want now is get this to a simmer and then we will let it simmer. The secret to a good marinara sauce is time. You want this to simmer for at least half an hour, usually an hour, maybe two hours. I'm gonna put a lid on so it doesn't evaporate too much, but in the end you want a really nice thick consistency that goes on well onto your pasta or whatever you're gonna use it with. Since I pureed the tomatoes, see it's already pretty thick. That's good, but it still needs the cooking because the cooking is essentially what brings out the flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I think I'm also gonna add a couple grinds of pepper, although that's not exactly necessary. But I like pepper. I'll just let this come up to a simmer. I'm at a medium heat. I'll put a lid on. If I can find one, I'll use a glass lid so we can see what's going on. And I leave this at a medium heat for half an hour to an hour. I swing by and stir it every now and then, and that's about it. could reduce it down even more, which would be better. On the other hand, I want to reuse this for other recipes. So this level is a very good compromise in terms of thickness versus what we need later. Of course, you could just reduce it down more and later on add a little bit of water, not a problem. And there you have it, a traditional marinara sauce with maybe five to 10 minutes of hands-on work. To get a fresh kick of basil, just add a little right before serving. And you can use this sauce on gnocchi, you can use it on pasta, you can use it on rice, you can use it in a bolognese. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with the rest of this. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.